Number three, a bedroom bureau with a mass of 45 kilograms, including drawers and clothing, rests on the floor. Letter A, if the coefficient of static friction between the bureau and the floor is 0 .4, 0 0.45, what is the magnitude of the minimum horizontal force that a person must apply to start the bureau moving? Letter B, if the drawers and clothing with 17 kg mass are removed before the bureau is pushed, what is the minimum magnitude? So let's say that this is the floor and this is the bureau. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that word, but anyway, so we are applying one horizontal force over here. Let's call it just F. And we have friction over here. It points to the opposite direction. We also have the gravitational force and the normal force over there. Okay, so this is the normal force. Okay, the thing that we must notice here is that if we start applying a force to the right, the frictional force over here, the static frictional force is going to increase. So if we apply, let's say, one Newton, the frictional force is going to be one Newton as well. If, if we apply two Newtons, it is going to be two Newtons as well. However, this frictional force here, here have, has a limit, and we know how to calculate that limit. So the maximum static frictional force that we have is equal to the static mu times the normal force. So if we apply a force over here which is higher in value than this force over here, then it starts moving. So the minimum force is a little bit more than this value over here. So if we can calculate this value over here, we know the minimum force that we have to push the bedroom bureau, right? So that's the only thing that we have to do. So we know this value over here, the mu s, the normal force, since we only have vertical forces, the normal force and the gravitational force, we know that the normal force is equal to the gravitational force in magnitude. So this is going to be equal to mass times gravity. So the minimum force that we have to apply in order to start the room to move is equal to, let's write it down, Fs max is equal to mu s times m times g. And that's pretty much it. We just have to make this calculation here and then we have the answer. So for letter A, the minimum force, let's call it just F minimum is equal to 0 0.45 times its mass, which is 45 as well, times the gravity, which is 9.8. And this is going to give us roughly 198 newtons. So that's the answer of letter A. For letter B, the only thing that changes is the mass of the bureau. So we just remove 17 kilograms. So it is going to be 45 minus 17 times 9.8. And this gives us, let's see, roughly 123 uh, newtons. So that's the answer of letter A and that's the answer of letter B.